many scientists were working on finding the periodicity of elements and gave a different basis for arranging and classifying the elements. But all failed and could not properly classify the newly discovered elements in the periodic table. But in the year 1913, an English physicist, Henry Moseley, contributed significantly towards developing the modern periodic table. Let's see what his experimental setup and observations are. Does this setup look similar to you? This is a cathode discharge tube. In the same tube, Henry placed different elements according to increasing atomic numbers in the place of anodes and cathode rays were subjected to each of them. On passing an electric current, the high energy electrons emitted from the cathode hits the elements at the anode to produce X-rays of characteristic wavelength. They were specific for each element just like human fingerprints. He further passed this X-ray through a prism to disperse it and noted the wavelength of the rays emitted by different elements. He recorded the reflection of the wavelengths on a photographic film and interpreted the lines on the photographic films as unique for every element. The wavelengths were decreasing in a particular pattern. With these observations, he calculated the total number of protons in the nucleus of a particular element. Since he chose elements based on the increasing atomic number, he concluded the atomic number correlates with the number of protons in the nucleus. The atomic number is the number of unit positive charges present in the nucleus of an atom. He thus modified the periodic table, arranging the elements in the order of their atomic number instead of atomic mass. His discovery gave rise to the modern periodic law, which states that the physical and chemical properties of an element are a periodic function of their atomic number. A lot of trial and error results in a successful discovery. And that's how the periodic table we use these days was discovered. Return to your class and learn more about the periodic table.